<laughs> oh, I don't even know if this is gonna air or anything. Yeah, I, yeah. Just so you know, they film everything. You yeah, here. everything. Oh, really? Almost, yeah, like, Th this all the time. This guy's probably got three, four hundred videos. Oh. He just wants to make sure everything's on record. <laughs> no, <Yeah. they're, laughs> just so you know, that's not that's not even the case. There's meetings that happen behind the scenes with partners, with vendors, on how we make decisions that our own company, internally, product, engineering, sales, everyone, support, they would benefit from. But also, taking that, externalizing that on the pieces that we can that are appropriate, and giving that into a form of a podcast or a video um, or a vlog to our clients. It's huge. It demonstrates communication. It gives people an insight of how we make decisions in our decision-making process. And it just makes, makes them aware that the, the items that they bring to our attention are important. You know, I really tried to find something that modeled around what our brokerage was modeled around. It completely transformed how our agents do their stuff. You know, we, we, we listen, we take an idea, we put it to reality, we release it, and then it goes out and helps the users. What, whatever's top of the, top of the line, our, our company wants it. How, what can we work on? In our old pending sheet, we had a box that they could check off, yeah. you know, for and charity. Yeah. You've seen Sky for listings. Mm -hmm. When Sky comes to transactions, our goal is to add in a panel and allow for brokers to upload one or many logos and say, would you like to yes. contribute? I don't know what the language is gonna be, but sure. would you like to donate to one of the preferred charities? I love the homepage. Mm -hmm. I, I love the top part. You know, I would love to see that expanded to different things like, you know, closing rates, uh, mm -hmm. average purchase price, yeah. you know, stuff like that. The average agents, sales price, purchase average sale, oh, yeah, yeah, the agents can use to- We have the data. Yeah, it's all in there. These are all great ideas. Um, Even you would want that data as a broker. As a pull. broker. You could be a domain expertise, but if you don't want to listen to customers and learn, you're, not, you're never going to have that beginner's mindset. You got to have both. I'm still hungry to learn from our clients. So yeah, it was a great visit. We should all be connecting, specifically product, with clients as much and as often as possible. Like, hey, my list of price ratio is this. I close this many homes. I've done this. I've, like, why, you know, I said, I don't, we have the data. Those are great stats we should be pulling. That should be right on their dashboard. It reminds me of what I say is salt. And let's take salt. Salt's made up of two things, sodium and chloride. If you take sodium, sodium alone, you die. If you take chloride alone, you die. But together, it's known as the best spice in the world. If you only have the beginner's mindset and not the 10,000 hours of expertise in the domain expert, guess what? You're gonna fail, it's death, right? Same thing, you can have the domain expertise and you can be great, but then you're stuck in your ways. You have to have both to win. Um, you have to have both to innovate. You have to have both to be an inventor. And I think in products specifically, you're inventing on behalf of the customer. Uh, from the beginning, and I think one of the best ways to do that is exactly what you guys are doing here today. You're here in advance of working on accessibility to learn more about accessibility, what works, what doesn't, right? That's the way to do it. We really appreciate that. Folks, thanks so much. Thank you You've been so much. A, great, a great group to have here. Earl pitched and said in a meeting, hey, you know, it'd be really cool if we could do a hackathon. I said, that sounds awesome. I know we have great engineers. I know that they understand real estate. And so I challenged Earl, I said, are they going to have ideas that would help Skyslope? Not just like technical back end, but like feature ideas that clients would like or internal employees would like, team members. Our goal is that we have multiple data sets. Come on. You navigate up, we have everything. When you're done, you know, you can modify the data right here. But when you're done, you get that saved. would help us create better products, understand our customers, and then save the listing to our database, listing creative, and ideally they can do this a lot faster. Um, I supported him. He texted me, what was it, last night or the night before and said, Hey, I want to be able to give out, you know, PTO to the winners. I said, Thumbs up. That was my, literally my response was thumbs up. That is what Jason gave you. And I would like it. I'd like to be able to query perfect world. I want to query what I want to query, but sometimes I just want, I need to, is my gut right or wrong? I need to check this. Okay, it's wrong. Go back to the drawing board. The challenge is understanding what table reflects which item we're trying to pull the data from. And that's why I don't always trust the data. I hurt my name. Yeah. They say usually left-handers are the most brilliant people in the world. Are you left-handed? Both Ryan and I are left-handed. Okay. I'm right-handed. <laughs> left that destroy your theory. The audience that I'm sending out to, I just wanted to... I've got two subscribers. <laughs> oh my god.
subscribe. Yay, two subscribers. Don't get precious. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Don't get precious. That's two more than you had yesterday. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm the real estate industry is just so unpredictable, not even just on the market side of things, but even on the realtor side of things. And so when we talk with customers about what they're looking for in the platform, what problems they're trying to solve, I always challenge the team to, to not get stuck trying to build a faster horse. Having that mindset's important. How do we listen to them? And not only listen, but invent on their behalf. There are items that would help our internal team members. There are items that would wow our customers. Anytime we have the opportunity to really wow them, I, I think we win and we win in big strides.